All right, well, get this thing masked off. Man, I'm tired of looking at it. Oh. Ah. Hey kids, you're gonna give me a heart attack one of these days. It's time to get the mask in this car. There's a lot to it. There's some tricks I'm gonna show you that aren't necessarily the normal ones. But they're gonna help us get to where we need to go. First, we need to get this car cleaned up. Well, actually it's already cleaned up, but I'm gonna show you how we cleaned it up. Um, because it's a very important step. There's a lot of reasons you're gonna see. All right, let's get to work. Thanks for hanging out. Okay. Say hi to everybody. Hi. Okay, wave. Wee. All right, Lily's gonna help me wash the car and all we got is some brand new microfiber towels. Oh, I love it. I love it. It's so soft. We got a bucket of clean water with just a couple drops of dishwashing liquid. Yeah. That's all it takes. <clears throat> we want to get rid of any kind of grease and grime and sweat because that's happened. Get on all the edges, all this white I'm gunky stuff. Now. Yeah, all this wet, all this gunky stuff we've got to get off the car. So. Of course, first thing we're going to do is rinse it off. Watch yeah. out. Matt! Happy Fourth of July! Uh, we're also going to want to get in here, the engine compartment, get all this stuff. You don't hurt anything, but I want to wash all the dust off of that if we can. Now, all that gunky stuff out of there. Believe me, we start going to paint. It's gonna blow out. We also want our tape to stick when we mask. <laughs> yeah, see your shirt? Little Grip Garage. <laughs> That's right, you're a big fan, aren't you? Say, yep. Yeah. So now I got some rust mort. We got a few flashy places on the edges that while I'm washing it, I'm going to soak it because when you're done, you're supposed to rinse it with the water anyway. Yeah. So I'm going to do my spots and, and get on down the road. All right, so I got my Scotch Bright. All the edges. You remember me, if you've watched the other episodes, I've, I painted all the way to the edge of all the panels. Now I want to make sure that that's prepped nice. And then plus, we've got some guide coat in there we want to clean off. Knowing that everywhere is going to accept paint, you got to have something going on to make it stick. So it has to be clean and give us a good mechanical adherage. All the edges, all the edges around everything. Now, down inside these fenders, paint's going to blow down in there, and that's all, you know, pretty. We'll get in there and go over a little bit but it's gonna be fine of course as I'm doing all this I'm still rust mort in a few spots now that we've cleaned it hopefully you can see it in the camera I thought this was interesting see the scratch marks that's guide coat so we need to go over this with 400 and any any place we see stuff like that we've got to catch it now now that we're rinsing it all the little grooves out now we can see them so I'm gonna get my soft block and my 400 wet, go over this hood, go over this area. We're gonna go over the primered spots and get them prepped up. All right, got the fans going. I did get another fan. I'm gonna double it up a little bit. So you saw how we cleaned it, right? We found some problem spots and it's a good deal that we cleaned it so we can take care of it. We're still gonna go over this whole entire car more than a few times before we paint it. It's just one of those things, you kind of sneak up on it, right? So, if you've watched my other videos, you know that I stuck the bolts in there and I, all these edges are painted inside there. The bolts have masking tape on them and you know, all that good stuff. What I'm worried about <clears throat> is being able to clean inside there, even though we cleaned, it's still gonna be dusty kind of stuff in there. So, I'm backing the fenders off and putting something in there. You know, a piece of wire. All it is is trailer wire. Trailer wiring, you split it off and, you know, 
So I backed the fender off, got that pushed in there, just so, and all, all I'm worried about is sealing it from the inside from the outside. So that's gonna help. That way, when I paint it, I'll still get, still get paint down inside here because this is prepped up, right down through here. But it's gonna help keep, you know, once you get that spray gun going, there's a, a little puff of dust somewhere and then, pff, it comes out and gets all in your paint. We're gonna have enough of that trouble, so I'm trying to keep it down to a nil. So we'll trim this off, right? And then once we paint it and it sits, I'll have to back all the fenders off just a little bit and carefully pull that out. Now the yellow wire makes it really easy to see what I'm talking about. We get down into the previously painted area and it's already been roughed up. If you look back in the videos, so when paint goes down inside there, it'll stick. But yet we're not gonna have dust and crap blowing out of there. Let's hope. So this MGA has a lot of holes in it and this is for tonneau cover and then the convertible top or you know cover and the little hold downs. You, you wanna clean those. So I just take my pocket knife, just like that. I think there's masking tape in there. Of course, we'll have some dust. But, so what I like to do too, is to get on the back side if I can, and watch this hole right here. Just get anything loose. Get it out of there. Yeah, we'll have dust to clean up. It's just a step-by-step -step process. Clean, work on the car, clean again, work on the car, clean again. You can get your masking tape. Now I'll have paint down on those holes on the edges. Like I said, it's not so much a masking thing. It's more of a dust thing. I don't want it to blow in there and have something kicking out. Got all the holes that I can get to. Got our wire and all four fenders. This, I've got to mask this off. I'm gonna do a couple of little pinholes that I found because again, they get filled up with, with that, that sanding, wet sanding goo, you know. Good thing I washed the car now I found them. So I, I've got to fix those. We'll mask this. I'm still rust treating the bottom lip down there because, you know, I always wait till the last minute and put stuff off like I tell my wife. Well, I just keep, keep forgetting, you know. Holes. Holes. And, and again, it's not so much as masking, keeping paint from going in there. It's more of a dust situation. I want the outside of it to be dust free best we can. That was pretty tough to get. In there, it's where the windshield post goes in. Little holes for all the trim, the defrost, the wipers. The doors, this door does not have holes in it like that one does. Holes for the tonneau cover, showed you that. Tail lights, bumper brackets, fuel fill. Now this one has holes in it. So this was original to this car, this door. So there's a couple little holes right there. And the holes gonna go on around. So there's gonna be holes over there at some point. I, I, uh, if, if he's gonna get a tonneau cover made for it, we can measure these out and have whoever makes it make them close. We'll drill the holes at that point. It's just gonna be kind of those one of, one of those things. And we got a couple holes that are MIA, right? Should be another hole here, I believe, and two more on the other side. We'll deal with that later. We don't know if we have the emblems and all that stuff. So we'll just, we'll deal with that later. It's not too hard to find the hole on the back side, drill it through, and then we can touch up inside the hole. Some holes, like this one, you can't get to. It's encased in here, you can't quite get to it, and we'll just do the best we can. Rear mirror, mirror, mirror holes, there's a big brace through here. 
and you can't get to the back side of these holes. We clean them up, blow them out best we can, and, and we'll, we'll do the best we can with that. Wipe down the inside edge and the outside edge of the hood and the trunk lid because we gotta get this masked off. And you remember how I painted all the way to this edge on both parts. And they're all scuffed in right on the edge. This is where I want my tape line. I'm gonna show you how to make a nice soft tape line inside a jam like that. Then I'll have to do the same thing with the doors. We'll have to cover this area. We got a lot left to do just yet. Masking tape. This is, says high stick right there. 3M makes really good tape. It's just more expensive. I bought this online, I believe. Bought uh, the two inch and a, and a three quarter inch in big sleeves. And it was, it, you know, I don't know, it was 14 or 15 bucks, maybe 20 bucks for both of them. 3M is quite a bit more expensive. This seems to be really good tape. But don't go to your Hardmore store and buy the blue or the purple tape, it won't work. That's for painting your house, it doesn't stick very good. But what I wanna do, I'm gonna do my best to show you this. I wanna, I wanna border this whole entire opening. So once I do that, I'll be able to fold it down. Let me get all the way around here and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. Got that all the way around on, on the downside of the, the little cavity here. And I rub my finger all the way around really good. Make sure it sticks. Now I did wipe this off with a damp cloth. Make sure it's good and clean. Have any of that dust goo in there, it won't, it won't stick. So I'm gonna fold this over. Like the corners, you might have to double up a tiny bit. I just want that to fold over. and pull it down just a little bit past where I have my paint line from painting inside the edges. I'm gonna pull it down, we want it folded just a little bit. Any place that's covering up your line, you wanna pull it back. And it's a little tough to get up inside here. You gotta do what you gotta do. And it might take a couple tries. It'll probably take me several. But this is how we're gonna do it. Get that all folded down. We want it going that direction towards the inside of our, like I said, corners. You probably give it just a little pinch. Pinch it down. Make it go around that corner a little bit better. Then, see this one doesn't want to stay. Let me pinch it. I'll pinch it just a little bit. Then we'll do this. As I'm closing it, I'm gonna look at my tape and make sure it's gonna go where I want. Just like that. 
Now is it going to stick to this completely all the way around? Probably not. But what I can do take my trusty pocket knife and push it down just a little bit. Or I, I want to make sure that edge of that trunk gets painted. What that's going to do for me is give me a nice soft line right on the edge. Now push that tape down. It's going to want to come back up. And it's not going to be perfect. It's not going to be perfectly sealed. But we're not going to blow a whole bunch of stuff inside of our nice, well, kind of nicely painted trunk. Well, it's a little gappy in these corners because the car is gappy. That's how they made them. Don't know. Uh, got this door done. See it? And, and a little gappy, but again, I can't get on, I can't get on the back side of it. I thought I could. The, the overspray here I'm definitely not worried about we'll just we'll, but we've got it all the way down to the bottom all the way down in here so that way it'll look nice inside the car we won't have a bunch of overspray going inside um, tomorrow night we'll get all this done <clears throat> that'll be interesting but it's doable we got a big gig tomorrow the pumpkin holler boys I'll put their Link down in the description so you can check them out. Most of the music you guys have heard me play is Pumpkin Holler Boys music. Uh, but this trick right here, I've learned that from my friend Pete and DIY Auto School. So I'll give him a shout out down there in the description too. Um, you know, like I says, this whole time we're not going for perfect. We're going for as good as we can do in a barn with a tent and some ceiling and some fans they're not even ceiling fans all right see you guys tomorrow next day I had a good time playing with them punk and holler boys it's always fun to hang out with them no matter how good the music is or not but we had a good time i think the people had a good time and all that hey i did uh, figure some stuff out so i have updates got my little masking machine out i've got a big one and this one just kept flopping over and always having to put weight in the bottom of it until I realized all this time I've had it, there's two holes and it's supposed to be for the wall. Hmm. And other news, sorry about the fan, trying to, trying to keep the old man cool here. I did figure out how to get a little bit of tape down in there. And I'm gonna show you on the other side, so you'll have to stick around. It's a little bit interesting it's not super hard to do I've got the door tied shut got it all bordered so what I got to be careful of is I want paint to go under here a little bit there's a lip on both sides right that I never painted and I neglected to think about it till now so Let's see what I kind of want to do. Something like this. And I plan on working my way around. I want to find a razor blade. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. Now, I'm hoping I 
I can go ahead and And I can always double up my tape action in here. Try not to cut the masking tape, hopefully. Hey, good enough. Look at that. I'm going to have it kind of down that way. Like I said, if I have this tape going straight out or this paper going straight out, I won't be able to get that that, that there ridge. And it's not so much, like I said before, that I want to keep paint from going inside here. It's more that I want to keep the dust out of my paint. Because it didn't matter how much I cleaned all the orifices and everything in this car. I was adding a little extra tape right there to be fine. Holds dust and dirt and just doesn't matter. double up tape some of this and then uh, we'll you know keep going I'm going to try to show you guys how I got tape in there. The problem is, is when the door's open, it's too small to get in there. And there's a panel that runs right through here going that way. And you can't get it from this side. <clears throat> but, as always, handy dandy pocket knife. So 
So what I want to do run that tape right down side there so the ticky st the sticky side is that way of course you can do it the other way too that's kind of a pain in the butt but it'll be better than not having anything in there and blowing dust out of the, that crack Then I'll take my pocket knife, dull side down, of course this is pretty dull, but the, the side that's not sharpened, I'm going to try to get it to stick to the back side of that the best I can. Because we got it kind of sticking on the outside, but that's just going to hold it in place. get rid of that down there okay there we go we got sound and stuff all right awesome now here's the tricky part I need to roll it and stick this edge in the other side It'll go. It just takes a little bit of finagling. Of course, I can pull it loose and pull it up and out if I want. Of course, it'll make a liar out of me now. And you get a couple holes in it. It's not the end of the world. I'm just rolling it over and push it in with my knife. Like I said, it's not going to seal perfectly. but it'll be better than nothing in there. Of course, your knife will stick to it. I'll just pull down. Oh, come on. So now it's kind of a little roll up of tape in there. And you always want to get it off. If you're doing it like this, you want to get it off. You want to get it past your previous tape line from the edge that you painted because you want that paint to overlap just a tiny bit. There we go. It's not the best thing in the world, but and that tape kind of tries to straighten back out a little bit, so it'll, you know, right on. Now I need to get this car jacked up. I'll show you that. There's a reason for that. All right, got her jacked up. Main reason, I don't have to bend down nearly as far to get underneath my bottom edges, right? Also, I'm covering up them tires. You guessed it, trash bags. Again, it's not because I care whether they get paint on them or not, because I don't. They'll probably get all replaced. Just want to keep the dust and dirt down. I know. Sprayed them down real good with the water hose. And as soon as I go to spraying paint, something's going to go poof. Got her on blocks in the back. Jack stands in the front. 
Now this way, a hose won't get stuck and I'll just be able to keep on going. You know, the hose gets stuck in a tire, oh, I hate that. Ah, I forgot a spot, but I've got to do something there anyway. Well, there you go. There's some interesting tricks there. Put down in the comments if you know something, you know, even cooler than that. So we all can learn. We'll all be able to read down in the comments see other people's ideas. And look, kids, we worked on this car a little bit Thursday night, a little bit last night, Friday night, and a couple hours tonight. And we got a lot done. So if working on your car and you don't have time, and you can always carve out an hour or two here, especially if you've got a space where you can keep it, you know, uh, work on it for an hour. Come back and a great big project sure seems like a big, a, a big old ordeal. And it kind of is. But if you take little pieces at a time, an hour at a time, you're going to get somewhere. We're going to wipe this thing down with a special thing after we blow the, clean the booth out again and get, it, get all the, the corners all zipped up and sealed up around the bottom. Then we're going to wipe it down with something special right before we paint. Unfortunately, you have to wait till next week. We're going to paint it. Our buddy Ralph is going to be here to help. Painters help her, help confuse me or something. We're going to have a good time, no matter how you look at it. Green, the whole thing, done. I'm so looking forward to it. Hey, sure appreciate you guys coming back, checking out, hanging out a little bit. We always have a good time, don't we? Like I said, share it, like it, tell your mom, tell your dad, or your little brother even, your little sister. She might be into it. Have a good week, and we'll see you next Sunday. Junk out. Go inside early for a change.